everyone welcome back to the vlog and if you're new here thanks for joining me um, I'm over here in Bangkok in Tongalore and uh, yeah if you saw the video before you know that I did the quarantine and now I'm kind of settling into the Tongalore area of Bangkok and uh, yeah so let's get into it it's a little rainy right now which is weird for dry season it's not supposed to be rainy but hopefully it's not gonna be rainy for too long and i'm using the gopro so no big deal but anyways tonglor yeah this is uh so i'm i'm actually on tonglor road right now so this is kind of like the main drag as far as like the nightlife spots and you know bars and restaurants and things like that um I guess Tonglor can kind of be considered like the expensive area of Bangkok, you know, like the fancy area. There's like a whole bunch of like um, new development and like tower condos and all that kind of stuff. So, you know. and you'll see me wearing the mask probably the whole time because in Bangkok right now the regulation is that you have to wear a mask inside and outside. So apologies for that try to get my voice a little louder but um yeah it's the morning right now so i think i'm gonna cruise around a little i gotta do some shopping to get my place set up so that's definitely on the uh, agenda today maybe a little coffee there's a lot of cool like little outdoor uh malls i guess like the commons so i'm gonna roll by there and show you guys that but overall just gonna do a tour of this street right here and kind of give you guys a feel for the place you know so far so good I've been here like a little less than a week haven't really like done too much though I've been a little busy mm, actually had like some stomach troubles so that was not fun uh, I kind of threw off all, all my plans but um, here we are anyways so one of the biggest things I noticed immediately in Tangalore is that there's a lot a lot of development and that basically goes for all the Sukhumvi area so it's just non-stop construction. It's a really interesting juxtaposition between new and old. All right, we're gonna do some uh, road crossing here. We basically step out and then hopefully they stop. <laughs> Yeah, like I've, I've yet to really explore down these little alleyways, but like I was saying, like this is the main drag. This is Tongwo Road. Yeah, so like there's like a new condo right there, you can see. So lots of fanciness. <laughs> but still, you, you, you still have like Thailand, you know, you have the little street stalls and it's kind of cool. And I'm like starting to think like, you know, like I've been to enough expat places or like the places to stay for foreigners in different countries and they all seem to kind of they all they all seem to kind of have the same theme, you know, like they have the modern amenities, but you still have like the local culture like a little bit here and there and then like a lot of foreign food. I mean, there's like a ton of Japanese food here and it's kind of an interesting balance. But there's also some really good Thai places as well, so I'm gonna be having a good time trying everything. Cool, so this is J Avenue. It's just kind of like one of those indoor-outdoor malls. Of course, there's a McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, coffee place. Right now it's pretty sleepy, but you get into like the midday and it'll get pretty crowded. into uh, Villa Market for a quick little I gotta pick up some stuff um, this is like an international market I guess
just really need towel paper, honestly. <laughs> like, you can use Grab and just order all your grocery stuff, so. This truck is pretty cool if you're into like Western stuff and has a lot of everything. Wine. A lot of wine. <laughs> all right, easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably noticed I got a haircut too. It's been a long time coming, it's like a month overdue. So, there's some more like local eatery stuff up here. I'll give you a walkthrough. Vegetable market right here. <laughs> That's like the local area, right? Well, not local area, but like the cheap eats, I guess. Just walking around with my towel paper like an asshole. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna go home and drop this off because it's a little inconvenient. I think I'll stop off at the 7-Eleven too. The lifeblood of Bangkok. <laughs> Got rid of all my change between the towel paper and the thing. And now I am change free or coin coin free. Ugh. It's pretty cool. And I head over to uh, the commons over here. downstairs. I'm gonna get myself an espresso. Oh. Okay, I, I see how it's laid out. They have all the food stuff on this side. You go over there and sit and chill out. Oh, cool, I got a house blend espresso. Let's see how that goes. It's actually a little over three bucks, which is a lot in my mind for espresso, so hopefully it's super amazing. <laughs> so it looks like you get an espresso and some like Pellegrino water, like a little cup. <laughs> so, hence the increased price, I suppose. Definitely that gourmet shit. <laughs> okay. Some pretty good coffee. The uh, Pellegrino was a nice touch. <laughs> like a bunch of people using their laptops and stuff, but I don't. I can't work outside. It's, just, it's incredibly hot. Well, now it's not bad, but. Not fun, <laughs> but it is really quiet and peaceful. Yeah, before like noon or 1 p.m., you can still manage to take a stroll and just you know 
you'll be all sweaty, but you're not gonna feel like you're dying. It's still pretty pleasant right now in like mid-February and then it just progressively gets hotter all the way to about April and then you'll start suffering. <laughs> But then it'll be the rainy season, so it'll it'll rain between like 4 or 5 p.m. like every day. But then I feel like the pollution's better around that time. And it's a little cooler too because it's not so, you know, like there'll be more clouds and stuff. So like this week is actually odd because it's very cloudy and rainy. And it's supposed to be the dry season. Oh, it's an interesting plaza here. It looks like they have some dim sum too. Is what I've been seeking out, so I'm gonna make sure to keep this in my mind. Hey, there's the wholesale market. <laughs> uh -huh. Here we go. <laughs> a hundred dollars <laughs> oh. oh so some nice uh wagyu and kobe beef crazy pretty cool <laughs> well hey <laughs> yeah a lot of Japanese stuff over in Tonglor for sure <laughs> so this place is called Landmark oh, and I ordered some uh, some Xiaojiao or some Hagao so like shrimp dumplings, I've been really jonesing, jonesing for some dim sum, so it's kind of funny. Or well, not funny, but you know, it's nice that I walked by this place. So, it's about 10 minutes, she said. So. It's 120 baht, so that's about $4, which is, even for like California, is pushing the high end of things. So, my expectations will be quite high. Um, although with that coffee, coffee was about three dollars and change as well um, for an espresso is a lot I would say it's more than like Starbucks you know but then that ended up being really really nice too so you know usually in Asia you get what you pay for all right let's see what we got here oh it's pretty good that was Easily one of the better chajos I've had in my life. And I've had some good dim sum in Hong Kong, so that's saying a lot. Yeah, that was really, really good. Wow, and, and not like under flavored. Like you notice I didn't add anything to it. It was just plain, so it was perfect the way it was. Um, this morning I had some pretty good krapao too, which is like the stir fried ground meat and basil. So, so far it's a good food day. Yesterday was not a good food day, so, you know, when you're having a bad day, tomorrow is always a new day, right? <laughs> I'm on the hunt for some, uh, I really want to get a massage. There's a bunch of places up here on Tunglo Road. So I'm walking there now, see what I can find. Pretty awesome. 
I did like the the foot and leg and then the the back and the neck and the head and yeah. It seemed like it was almost a full-time massage anyways. They just missed a couple of areas and they uh or see did it crack my my back at the end but um there's a lot more time spent on the legs and the feet you know obviously so the uh, price was about the same so i mean it wasn't bad at all it was like 350 baht so that's like 11 dollars and change something like that um crazy cheap and i feel pretty damn good I had like a kink in my neck and my shoulders and all this stuff, so... I definitely don't feel as like sore or just kind of messed up, like... Still good. <laughs> right now it's gonna be time for... I'll grab a little snack or something. Head up at 4 o'clock, it's a weird time. like southern Thai it's like fermented rice vermicelli noodles it's kind of like boom in Vietnam but then that with it's like it's like a salad kind of cold dish with some veggies and stuff so we'll see <laughs> I have like six bucks so I like cheap but you know when you're eating salad I don't I don't recommend going on the street because I got really sick that one time in Chiang Mai <laughs> so anyways um, yeah it was really nice hopefully today I'm able to give you like a sense of you know life in Tango or a bit you know um, so, you know, the day-to-day -day will kind of be like this for me, you know, with like different restaurants and stuff. And then I'll also be checking out different parts of Bangkok as well. But, you know, anyways, thanks for joining me.